Hello everybody, I'm back with the second video from our little virtual tour of the Star Trek Starship Bridges. Uh, unfortunately, I am recording this uh, audio a few weeks after I uh, got the footage, so I have some bad news. Uh, they took the website down. Now, if you go to this URL, you are going to be redirected directly to Roddenberry.com. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, you can't check this by yourself anymore. And I unfortunately didn't capture all of the ships, which sucks. But uh, maybe if somebody uh, has some backup uh, of the whole website, please let me know. Uh, now on screen you can see the refit uh, NX-01 from the third season of uh, Picard. It was uh, appearing only there and now we are jumping to the USS Enterprise from the uh, 23rd century. This is the 3D version of the concept art for the uh, Robert April ship, who, by the way, was white in the original idea, not black as in uh, Star Trek uh, Strange New Worlds. Uh, if you want, you can uh, pause the video and uh, check the text. I'm not going to read it. I think you are going to suffer a lot from hearing my voice uh, for the next couple of minutes at any time. I'm not going to even try to read uh, this text, uh, but still, uh, in the case you haven't seen the first video uh, on Roddenberry.x.io, they released temporarily uh, these little video tours. Uh, of all of the bridges of the main Star Trek starships. This actually doesn't look bad, but you can clearly see that what we uh, ended up getting uh, clearly was inspired by this basic rules of design. Okay, this is cool that you could actually sit in the chairs, but still there is nothing going on and it's a bit too wide and a bit too empty for my liking but yeah maybe it's a bit more realistic compared to the final version which we got in the show Okay, it's cool that you can go to Turbolift, but I don't really get why, since you can't go anywhere from the Turbolift. Now, this is the version of the bridge which appeared in the original uh, pilot, the cage. And it's very similar to the bridge we got on the show. Um, main difference is, of course, uh, that it was far less colorful. And I have to admit that I actually prefer this look to uh, the final version. I think that the final version is a bit too colorful. But still not as extreme as uh, the version from Strange Worlds, but we will get there in a few minutes. Yeah, a few words about the model. I'm thinking about doing videos about the free versions used uh, during the shooting. Not sure if anybody would be interested in stuff like that. Go okay. Yes, I can go full screen. Fine. 
we have a nice 360 look of the set. Again, I'm very grateful that they released this even temporarily. But uh, to be honest, I think they could release this even commercially or maybe create a permanent website and fill it with ads or something. I think we, the fans, would really love having uh, the opportunity to just visit these sets at least uh, virtually. So we, uh, these images were definitely different uh, in the show. And these little monitors were removed for some reason. I think they kind of are not very practical, but look cool on screen. Also, it's kind of strange to not hear any sounds. I mean, my brain automatically uh, creates this uh, background noise, which you could always hear on the show. Yeah, I was trying, but I was pressing E and absolutely nothing happened. So, not sure if some scripts failed or what was this, but as you can hear, nothing happened. Again, the turbo lift, which is even more empty than on the previous version on the bridge. I think that these uh, pictures appeared only on uh, the cage. And the captain's chair, which looks very similar to the final one, but again has these uh, gooseneck monitors attached to it. I mean, just watching this, the fanboy in me is trying to not to freak out. I would seriously pay heavy money to have the opportunity to have some officially released product like this. Okay, this was the Cage Enterprise. Uh, I'm checking the time. Okay, let's take a quick look at the version of the bridge which appeared on uh, the show. I am trying to forget that exists. Uh, Discovery. For some reason, the bridge was lit from the floor. I don't really understand these designs. Uh, they do look kind of cool, but can you imagine working in this environment? There's total darkness and you just have these uh, spotlights from the top and from the floor. I don't know, looks weird, but what do I know? I'm just a nerd ranting on the internet.
but uh, I have to admit that I didn't originally even notice that they changed the bridge between Discovery and Strange New Worlds. That was a surprise for me when I was playing with this. You can kind of see the original aesthetics, but for some reason it's Abrams for a lack of a better world. Okay, this is cool. I never knew that you can actually go behind the bridge. I mean, in reality, you of course could go there, but on the fictional ship, I thought that the uh, turbo lift always leads directly to this part, but okay, good to know. And I didn't even know they had two. Oh, this is the little conference room, which was added to Discovery. Uh-huh. Okay, that's interesting that they recreated also this part. And again, can you imagine working in an office which would be lit like this? Such a high contrast. Again, I understand that it looks cool on screen, but... The original designs were just uh, much more... real looking to me. And the screen is really wide, which is one of the few things I like on the new bridge. So, that was all for part two. Uh, part three will be up hopefully next week. And I think I have also material for part four. But that will be all of it. So, thank you very much for watching and see you hopefully next week. Bye.